Nobody knows what to expect from this film, and that low expectations are often a good thing in films, but I think having the wrong expectations is quite damaging. I, I think it's going to be hard to get people to go and see this because I think people think, oh, bunch of YouTube clips, oh, I'm not going to see that, I might watch it on video, or I'm not going to go to the cinema to see it. But it's intended to be a cinematic experience, and I think it is a really cinematic experience, and I think it's very moving. It gives you the things you expect in a good movie, which is big emotion and visuals and you know music and everything, but it gives you those experiences in a way that you haven't seen before. Yeah. I didn't want the film just to be, it's meant to be about the experience of life on this day yeah. and by extension about what the, the main emotions and feelings that we're all gonna go through in our lives, which are you know children, being a child or having children, love, illness, exhilaration, death. Yeah. And so you had to show the negative side of life, because that is part of life. You have to show the darkness, the fear. And um, although the film is a, mostly a positive experience, and I think in the end it feels, it feels a very uplifting film, part of that, the reason why it's so emotional, I think, is that you are confronting some of the things we're all frightened of. And um, actually going beyond that and saying, you know, Life is a fragile thing, but I'm going to enjoy it while I can. This whole film was really an experiment in serendipity, an experiment in good luck, you know, really just sort of, you can't control anything as a filmmaker in this, which is kind of terrifying, but also great relief, yeah. really, if you come from a world of fiction films. If you watched 10 hours a day for five days a week, it would take you two years to watch. But luckily we had 25 people who watched it all in about six or eight weeks. But still, it's an awful lot of material. And then I watched about 300 or 350 hours of footage. And it was only sort of when we started showing the film to people, or when we'd almost locked the cut, that suddenly I started to think, God, this actually really works as a movie. And actually, it really affects people. And um, so it was a lovely experience of starting thinking you're making an experiment and actually ending up realizing you've made a populist movie. You know, a movie that actually is very easy to enjoy and that yeah. I, I think anybody could enjoy. The film is a product of generosity and I think that comes across. You know, it's amateurism in the true sense of it. People have done this because they love what they're doing. They love to take part in it. Um, there's no financial gain for them. There's no sort of, they're not trying to become famous or anything like that. It's actually um, saying this is, sounds like a great fun thing and I want to connect to people. Yeah. I want to show people my life. And I think that sense of generosity, which is, the best aspect of the internet, you know, people sharing their knowledge about whatever it is. That's the part of the internet that makes you feel optimistic about the future, and that's, yeah. I think, what we've captured in this.